Hello and welcome once again to Jacob's Toys 5 Minute Figure Reviews. As always, if you're enjoying the channel, please do like, share and subscribe. All support is very much appreciated and do check us out on Instagram at Jacob's underscore toys. So today we are taking a look at the She-Hulk figure that has been recently released by Marvel Legends. Get the timer up and let's get started. This figure obviously is She-Hulk in her iconic green skin look. She-Hulk has obviously got a television series coming to Disney Plus next year. And of course recently Marvel was featured on Fortnite, including Jennifer Waters and She-Hulk as a character. Um, as a character and as a figure, it's very nice. Um, the ripped top and the ripped jeans are a signature look to She-Hulk. She does come with an alternative head, but we'll get onto that in a minute. First, let's have a quick look at the box. Uh, the cover art is nice, takes up the whole of the back of the box. And as you can see, there is no builder figure here at all. So it is obviously a standalone figure. Nice Hulk emblem at the back there and the She-Hulk logo in. A little bit of a blurb on the back. And as I said, I really like that piece of artwork. Let's get into the actual figure. Now She-Hulk is built on the larger female buck, so she does stand a little bit taller than your regular female. You have all your normal points of articulation, so like a mid-stomach swivel, your knees, your feet, You've got your up, down, the frights on your arms. I've twisted the uh, the shoulder joints here so that we can kind of pull up the, uh, the two gun pose as I've shown here. And that's probably the pose that I'll use on my shelf. Now let's just have a look at the earlier release, the grey She-Hulk that we got as part of the Fantastic Four wave earlier this year. And obviously there's the alternative head, which is exactly the same as the one that we got on the grey She-Hulk. You've also got a pair of open hands as well, similar to what we got with grey She-Hulk. Now one of the biggest complaints with grey She-Hulk, apart from the fact that she wasn't green, was that she didn't come with the calm head, she only came with the angry head. But I actually think that this green head, this green angry head is much better than the grey one that we got previously. It's a lot more detail in the eyes with the yellow in it etc. And if I just pop on that alternative head, when you stand them side by side, both with that angry head, they pretty much look like the same figure just in a different colour. Obviously the eyes, as I said, uh, the actual detail on the eyes in the green version is much better and does make her look a little bit more menacing. Grey She-Hulk was obviously a particular look and I for one was pleased to receive her and I'm glad that they didn't make us wait a million years for the green re-release to come out. Let's just take away the grey one for the time being and just have a little bit more of a detailed look at this green one. If I pop off the hands and put on the alternative hands, the open palm hands, along with the angry head you can obviously get a particular kind of style to green she-hulk there i for one am definitely going to pose her with the calm head though i'm going to keep my gray she-hulk as an angry hulk and i'm going to take this head off of this one and put the calm one back on if we just have a look it's obviously just a reissue of a head that we've seen previously on other marvel legends just made bigger to fit the larger buck but i think it works really well with this particular figure um, with she-hulk Obviously her signature kind of swimsuit look isn't what we got here. We did just get the tattered clothes similar to the, uh, the Grey She-Hulk, which is a shame, but this in itself is a really nice looking figure. I'll be interested to see how she looks in the MCU in the upcoming series and whether she looks similar to this or has her own signature look. Either way, I'm sure there are more She-Hulk figures in the pipeline to go along with that show. Let me just get her back into that kind of double gun pose. And what I'll do with the power of editing, if I just zoom out a little bit, I will bring in a Hulk. So this is obviously the uh, 80th anniversary Hulk that came with Wolverine in a two pack. As you can see, they're a slightly different green to each other, but shoulder to shoulder, they actually look like a good set. Um, I think the proportions of She-Hulk are very good in comparison to the Hulk. And I think that they look quite nice next to each other. I probably won't display these right next to each other because of the difference in green. The Hulk obviously has a lot more detailing with the shading and it makes She-Hulk look a little bit flat coloured. Um, but as a set, I think in regards to kind of figure photography or team building um, or even just sort of side by side, they look all right and they look good. You can see that they're both Hulk. Um, oops, you can see that they're both male and female versions of the Hulk. Let's have a look at them from the side. And then obviously just have a look at them from the back as well. All in all, I think she's a really nice figure. And I for one, I'm really pleased that we've got a modernized version of She-Hulk in her signature green look. Let's put her there next to Hulk. But yeah, 
No, I think she's available now, obviously, and I think if you're a fan of Hulk or you're a fan of She-Hulk, then she's definitely one to get. I think out of her and the grey She-Hulk, the green version is most definitely my favourite. And I'm sure she's only going to become more popular when the TV show comes out. Thanks very much for watching Jacob's Toys 5 Minute Figure Reviews. If you've enjoyed this, then please do like, share and subscribe. Any support is much appreciated.